to a good talk. Welcome to my world. A little coffin. That's what it is really in effect, isn't it? It's yeah. just coffins that are just going somewhere. I'm gonna get in it. I'm gonna be really intellectual and read a bit of uh, Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. Loads of words that I just don't know in this book, but I'm too lazy to look it up in a dictionary, but I'm still still enjoying it. What are you doing? <laughs> Tickling your foot, what's wrong with that? Going fast asleep, quite a lot really. You could explain why you've, there was a rattling coming from your bunk and you came off with a sock in your hand. It's a rattling curtain pole, Kieran, and I use the sock to wedge the rattle. Pete, hey, you all right? All right. Have you had your coffee? It's happening. And gigs on. Gigs on. Pete's it's had his coffee. It's happening today. Built into a Touch that guitar, I'm going to scratch your eyes out. <laughs> it was in the balance this afternoon. I was getting cold, so it's happening now. Gigs on. Sean. Yeah, got your coffee. Right, OCD rituals before gigs were on in about five or ten minutes. I must have checked the buttons on my trousers about four or five times. I've, uh, I won't say other stuff I do because it's a bit weird. It's really, is it? It's really good. We're going to have to listen to this because he does it twice. Fairly near each other than the big stuff, are we? Pre-game. It's a tactical discussion. Yeah. 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 Shall I 
Today, Stan, what's it like? Well, quality ain't as good as it could be. Decidedly grim on the ironing board front. <laughs> oh dear, who's done that? Yeah. Not guilty. <laughs> <laughs>
He had to sing a few Seahorses songs to get our Britpop audience warmed up and we really needed him to sing backing vocals on I Hopes so he comes on stage very inebriated most of the time but that's Chris Elm. I think we've, he started off quite um, tentative did Chris and uh, you know hello I'm Chris and I'm going to sing these songs and towards the end of the tour it got to the point where he was going I'm Chris, move to the front so you can hear me. <coughs> I think we broke him, we broke that man. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm quite shit first. Reintroduce this to Chris Howell back to the stage, please. Kids are in bed. Sound like just bed, probably. <laughs> you really can't beat this venue, can you? It's absolutely good. Venue. End prophecy here. When you go to bed at night and you lay down, yeah, your head faces north and your feet face south, and then you've got all the actual the pull of the of gravity and all the other shit. That's what you're supposed to do. Shed seven, music to snooze by. <laughs> Morning. Best mattresses, this tour was in Edinburgh. Two, two nights, beautiful. Yeah, they were lovely. They were like being in a marshal. Did you have a really nice mattress last night? Were it very very soft? Your mattress? All, all the beds were out in the bloody corridor. <laughs> oh, you didn't sleep in the corridor again, did you? Like this on the side, because all the beds were out there. It's all right. The band get a good bed and you were to go no. in the corridor. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, Pete. I've had a dozen coffees today. Yes, it's happening. How long are you ready? Matey? Gentlemen, are we ready? Yeah. Oh, the knife? No, no, no. Is it not on the set list? Sharp as a knife, isn't it? Look at raring to go. Concentrating on the job in hand. It'll be confiscated. Come on. Are we ready, Joe? Yeah. Are we watered and I'm ready. watered? Well, you can well, put the nose for you. That's that's right at the top, though. No problem with that. And here you are now. Yeah. Doesn't be told on. Yes. Right. Let's go. Love it, there you go. Come on, dude. Put your arms on. Oops. Yeah. I just despair. Can we go, gentlemen? Yeah. Come on. Right. Let's go up. Come on. Come on, Al. Tom, can we go? Paul, come on. Hang on. Joe, no, it's Chris Elm. Got some right footage of that last bit. Got some what? Right, right, right footage. footage. Got some, what? some right footage. Some right footage. You wanna? Yeah, let's give it a bit of some mess while I'm seeing. Whatever, son. I know. Oh. I prefer it to this week, that definitely. Edinburgh, I think. Yeah, some good moves, Rick. I like the Nate's side stack. The drummer, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> and there you are. We're a little wander about. It was fun. It was good. I was fun. Yeah, I couldn't really hear myself. Yeah, the sound won't light as good as it was. Right, gents, we're ready. Let's go back up. It's a bit of a walk. Well, yeah, yeah let's do it. 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 Let's do Yes, welcome to XFM, those of you who have not been here before um, and we've got some staff at the back, they always stop what they're doing to come and uh, check out, especially Tom over here, Tom, biggest <laughs> Brit fan, Brit pop fan ever. Yes! He's, yes! he's had a fucking oh. top week lap though, can not he? He had Cass the other week, he was like, Cass, Cassavian, the lot man. We are XFM and we do things our own special way so we get our favourite bands in to do these lunchtime sessions with Mojo. Mojo's a bar in Manchester that we all frequent uh, regularly. Um, and we're very privileged again, this with this band, not just one of our favourite bands, but an iconic British band, uh, somebody that had been friends of mine for a long, long time. He sung at my wedding. And yeah. I tripped up as well. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, should I tell the story now? We, had, uh, we, we invited Rick to sing at our wedding, me and Charlie, and he did um, Chasing Rainbows at the altar. Beautiful, you know, no pressure. P. Rook was there, Manny was there, all his heroes were there. He's like, oh. did a beautiful rendition. And we all gave him a little clap at the end. And as he walked away, he tripped over a jet lead and all the mic came over. And... <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> okay, hopefully that will happen today. Uh, they're playing tonight and tomorrow night at the Academy in Manchester. If you want guest list, I bet we can sort it for you. After they've done the songs, we'll be doing some uh, photographs, autographs, whatever you want. Uh, let's have a big, warm XFM round of applause. Shed 7!
Ladies and gentlemen, let's have it. From Yorkshire. From over the hills. How cool is that? Uh, the Queen tonight, tomorrow night the Academy. Uh, and we're very privileged that they popped in today. Thanks again, Shed 7. Yeah! Yeah, that's, that's, that's all the steam is like. It's going to be the best night. Yeah, right. Fingers crossed. This is what I've been up for. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was Tom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The XFM Top 1000 Songs of All Time featuring two songs by Shed Seven. Right, going for gold and chasing rainbows. And look, there's my name. It's, uh, one more than Sigur Ross, look. Dick Kasabian, how many have they got in the top 1,000? Oh, they've got like... <laughs> Hi, me. Oh, we've obviously got a bit of work to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jeez, we've got some catching up to do with only two. Should we sign it then? Space, ironically, on a six string guitar. The irony, isn't it ironic? It was good, in a kind of bird fruit way. Manchester Academy. Oh, Pete, you alright? How's it going? I've got a special guest with me today. Hi, I saw. It's John Bracewell. Right, great guitarist, meet you. endorsed with uh, ESP. Yep, ESP. Kramer. Randall. I'll try yeah. teasing that. And, uh, Aspiring. It's happening. Is the gig on? It's happening. I've, I've had a cup of coffee. Oh, you've got your coffee, gig's it's on. It's happening, yeah. One final question. Um, like I say, you've, played, you've told me you're playing the hits tonight. Is there going to be any surprises? Well, yes, there is a couple of surprises, yes, but I'm not telling you now because it'll ruin it, won't it? Yeah. Well, this interview is going to be playing next week, so you're still actually on tour. So you'll have to tell me when we've pressed stop. Yes, and right, then, yes. No, I'm not going to do that, you can wait till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am, I'm looking forward to it tonight. Well, I'll put it this way the song that we're going to do, we, we always like to do a cover version, and this particular cover version. In the past, we've always done the classics, you Bowies, you Rolling Stones, you know. Um, uh, you have the obvious cover versions, but we're doing one that's a bit more of our ilk. Okay. And being that we're in Manchester, puts a little bit more pressure on it. <laughs> Freezing, isn't it? Yeah. Hot and cold all the time. I normally wear a big um, big jumper like this for gigs, Karen. You thought you would do today? I thought I would do today. It's the cold tour. Next time, we're going to talk in June. Never again. Some calmness to in the bits. Stan. Hey. What's going on in here? <laughs> You're the medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Me and Rick. <laughs> Touch of brandy. Plenty of honey. <laughs> Squeeze a lemon. Hot water. Ginger. It's <laughs> 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 fucking wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to give it him on stage now? Yeah, works wonders. <laughs> <laughs>
You've been drinking that Vex Blue, it's gone to your head, hasn't it? What's the difference about that? It's not alcoholic. Goes to show it's all in your mind. It's all in your mind. Well, what is it? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, it's on here. Just breaking the law. <laughs> Got a bit worried at Rock City because the kettle blew up. And they had to go and rapidly go and get and buy another one. It was uh, not happening at one point. But the gig's on. It is. Uh, yeah, on. It's happening now. Yeah. Yeah. It's happening, and that's the end of it. That's the end of it. Mm. Two are going well dug. Just grafting, I guess. Never a minute off. Well, we've done Bournemouth, Bristol, Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Newcastle, Liverpool, Cambridge, Sheffield, Manchester, Manchester, Nottingham, Leamington, Spa. Today we're at Norwich, UEA. Has it been a highlight so far? <laughs> the highlight, um, Bastons have probably been Manchester won, Nottingham was good, Glasgow, then a couple, for a couple of wild cards I'd say Edinburgh was good, um, you know, they're all good, we just, they're good, we're good, we're a good band, what can I say? Always good, isn't it, in Yorkshire? Yeah. yeah. We're coming home! <laughs> Don't start filming until we're near the top, just so I get used to it. Right, already I'm hating this. Don't, because this yeah. is hideous already. Fucking hell, Kieran, I'm not, I'm not liking this at all. <laughs> Jesus, we're not even... Okay. Um, yeah, where's the barbecue? Jesus Christ. I'm just looking at that little nipper in the next car, that's the only thing keeping me going. Why is it stopped? <laughs> You need to ask me questions. Right, I do, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just take my coat off for one minute. So here we are, back in York, ready for them last two York gigs of the tour. Looking forward to it, Rick? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Um, it's been a really good tour so far. We've uh, been quite boozy, uh, very singy, shouty, you know. Uh, but yeah, really good, and here we are in our hometown, yeah. I can't see it, Kieran. No. I'm trying not to look, to be honest. The thing is, I was going to say then, 
yeah, the thing is, because it's your own town, I have to walk these streets. So the worry is, if you do a bad gig, then people are going to chuck stuff at you. So oh. again, mate, so some I'll, I'll leave. randomly waving at me. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's not stopped mid-flight this time. I'm happy. Yeah, I think it's just I think they picked up on the bottom. They picked up on my nerves. Yeah. Oh, is that what they did? They picked <laughs> people, up on the bottom. People up on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Yeah. It's funny. I've been wondering what they've been doing with that there. Some old thing. I'm just trying to keep my mind occupied, Kieran. I can yeah. see daft woman waves at me. Yeah. Yeah. Guy. It should be a good one. You know, do the gig, stumble home few drinks and then do it all again tomorrow. That woman's waving again. We're stopping now. We're not. We're getting <laughs> four for the price of three. Mental. <laughs> We're sold on three revolutions. Yeah. Oh, I don't know whether I like it or not. I'm getting... Have we got on the list next then? Well, we seem to find ourselves reforming every couple of years and just doing a tour of old past glories. And I don't know whether people are getting bored of that, but we, we're just one of those bands that we find ourselves in that position where we can. You know, people want to come and see old stuff. People call us has-beens, perhaps that's what we are. But, you know, while people want to come and see us playing that, this old stuff, then we're there to do it, because we have a laugh doing it. And there's quite clearly a need for it, because people keep coming and loving it. And the atmosphere at the gigs is just unbelievable. Without the the people coming to see it, we are pointless really, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's ace, it's all really good. God knows what's going to happen next, we'll maybe do a few festivals next year, 2012. Uh, so long and you know, there's always melodies going around in my head, so there's always the possibility of getting together with the guys and trying to write new stuff. But unless it's up there with our history, then there's no point. Cooey! <laughs> So, uh, is she waving at me or is it? Somebody? I think she's waving at me. <laughs> oh, is it you, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. okay. So, yeah, so that, there you go. we'll see. We'll see, won't we? See what happens. I've got to run. I've got to run. I've got a gig to do. She's the, the she's the dog of the bunch, I think. Yeah, the one that's the bit sweet. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, they're pretty basic. They are, yeah, they're just it's just been done to death, hasn't it? Death, isn't it? Well, can we judge them? Is it fair to just judge them on looks, Alan? No, but I've heard them singing. I'd rather be putting on side of the place. Black. Yes, it was okay, wasn't it? You like school dinners, wasn't it? Yeah. A curry rice, a couple of samosas, and an orange juice. <coughs> it's like my second lunch, really. So I had a lunch mid morning. Right, that was probably a brunch then. Yeah, more of a brunch. Can you have a linner? Past God knows how many years, London's just been an absolutely ace place for Chester to play. You know, there's certain cities that you, you can't go wrong in. Your Glasgow's, your Manchester's, your Leeds, your London's. Birmingham's become like that now, and all that's, that's just become a really ace place for us to play. But yeah, London, you know, 
it's always just a, a privilege to go and play there and it's nice when you can look up in the balcony and there's Chris Miles having a good time stood next to the missus yeah, just ace, really good there's no one in hiding the hate you can find in the pain that you call your own there's no one in shining from this that I'm flying the boy is on his own There you go, that's it, that's another tour done. It's been absolutely ace as it always is. We've had a right good time and hopefully we'll do it all again. So I'll see you again sometime soon. Cheers.
ourselves anyway, haven't we? There's been plenty of coffee on this tour, but I have complained to the management. There are no digestive for Duncan.